So next speaker up is uh, Emma Foley from Intel, who will be presenting on uh, Barometer, which is an OPNFE project. Um, hi, folks. I'm going to be presenting on Barometer, which is an OPNFE project. <laughs> Um, so instead of actually just telling you a lot of information, I'm going to answer a lot of questions. And at the end, you can ask some questions as well. So first up is, what is service assurance and why do we need it? Yeah. Um, so basically, uh, as we become more and more reliant on the internet, uh, data centers have played a bigger and bigger part in our lives. And as we move uh, from traditional network deployments, so fixed function network appliances, to NFE, um, data centers have become more and more important. <clears throat> so as telcos and enterprise do this transition, we end up with a lot of tooling, a lot of infrastructure that's becoming more and more complicated. And because um, industries are going to have to meet the meet or exceed the expectations that customer ha customers have for um, service assurance, QoS, and SLAs, um, <laughs> what's going on? Um, well, they're going to need um, additional tooling, additional metrics available to actually monitor their systems for malfunctions and misbehaviors that can cause downtime. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, existing solutions uh, may not actually be enough here because as the tooling gets more complicated, you need to be able to monitor um, not only the platform but also software applications as well and relay these metrics to management and analytics engines that will manage your virtualized infrastructure. So um, <clears throat> this is where CollectD comes in initially. And I know Collecti has been around for a very long time. Um, however, this is good because um, it is widely deployed and the industries that are moving across to NFE, it's a tool that they're likely already using, which will help ease the adoption and ease the transition into NFE. So a bit about Collecti first is it's got a plugin based architecture, which makes it really flexible and really configurable. And these plugins come in a few different types. Uh, read plugins actually access the metrics from your system. Write plugins to relay these metrics up to higher level um, analytics engines. And notification plugins, which would be equivalent to producing events from your system. Logging plugins, which is pretty self-explanatory. And also a set of binding plugins. So um, you're not limited to actually writing these uh, Collect D plugins in C. You can extend it using uh, Perl, Java, or Python if you want to. Um, Collect these sounds great, however, there are some gaps, and this is where Barometer comes in. Um, first of all, a Barometer is a, an instrument for measuring atmospheric pressure. It's also a project in OPNFE, and for those of you that missed the last session, um, OPNFE develops and improves um, NFE features in uh, upstream ecosystems and also provides integration, testing, and installation to produce a reference platform for NFE, which helps industries to adopt. It's designed to facilitate the adoption of NFE. So um, Barometer is one of these projects. And it is concerned with feature development, primarily in Collect D, to cover the gaps that we've found in that and make it more suitable for NFE deployments. <coughs> so <clears throat> we've produced a lot of plugins to help monitor the platform and make this make more data available. Um, so not not only can you um, monitor generic compute networking and storage. You can also get more in-depth details from your platform. This is metrics that were already available um, on Intel platforms, but is now exposed through Collect-D. And also metrics from applications like dbtk and OVS, which will not be relevant in traditional deployments. However, they are very, very relevant as we move towards um, NFE. Um, so once those metrics are available in Collect-D, they're 
pretty much useless unless you can actually talk to your management and orchestration and analytics engines and interact with components such as OpenStack, um, ONAP, Kubernetes, and so on. So along with the um, read plugins, we've also produced a bunch of write plugins to talk to OpenStack via Gnocchi and produce or send notifications to OpenStack through A. Um, we've demonstrated how you can integrate with is collect DC advisor, relay all your metrics to Prometheus and actually use that platform data and application data in Kubernetes and produce some plugins for um, VES so we can relay the metrics up to ONAP. As well as that, we've done some work on um, sending these metrics via SNMP so that legacy systems can actually use um, use the metrics, again, this is to help ease the adoption so you don't actually have to change your whole tool chain to use NFE. Um, these are supposed to be pretty quick slides, uh, more details on our read plugins. So DPTK stats, vSwitch stats, huge pages stats, um, cache monitoring, um, additional memory. Um, again, uh, libvirt is one here, so you can actually monitor your um, workloads running on virtual machines without installing Collect D on the VMs themselves, which means that you're not interfering with black box commercial VNFs and you still get the same level of metrics as you would have if you were, had more control over your VNFs. Um, again, uh, write plugins, SNMP, Gnocchi, A, and, <coughs> and VEZ. Boom. And as well as feature development in in Collect D, Barometer has worked on um, standardization and making sure that the metrics produced actually are compliant with open source or open um, standards for metrics collection so that, again, if you have other tools, you don't have to spend a lot of time writing normalization or translation plugins that you can, you can supplement and interact and interoperate with different applications. Uh, we've also provided installer integrations, so oh, a barometer and Collect-D wouldn't be much use in OPNFE if you couldn't actually install them. Um, so at the moment we have support for Fuel, Compass, Apex, as well as Cola Ansible in, in OpenStack. And if you're interested also technically uh, DevStack support. Um, during the last cycle, there was a lot of work done producing a reference container. So if you want to get started with Barometer and Collect-D, you can pull down a Docker image from the OPNFE Docker Hub and start using it. And this will include all the Barometer features that have been upstreamed. And we're working on installer support for that reference container so that we'll always have the latest and greatest version of Collect-D actually on the system just by installing that container. And that brings me up to a demo. Um, it's a bit of work in progress at the moment to automate the configuration and deployment of Collect-D using Ansible. Um, so what I'm going to show is um, installing Collect-D on four compute nodes from your, from your master node or your controller node and configure them, deploying Collect-D and then <coughs> on your master node um, aggregating your metrics to that one point and um, storing and displaying them. So. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so first of all, our Ansible script is going to um, create collective configurations on our compute nodes. Oh no. It's okay, this is a short demo. It's about four minutes and it hasn't been sped up. I don't think you could read it anyway. Um, so, what's happening here is on our master node, we're um, using a Ansible to, first of all, configure Collect-D on our um, compute nodes. What it does is for each barometer plugin, it checks if the requirements are met and then enables and configures appropriate plugins.
Okay, so now we're done configuring on four nodes. Um, just going to check that those configurations exist, um, as well as enabling the read plugins. This is also configuring the compute nodes to send the metrics back to our master node. Now we're going to actually deploy the container. I'll first check that there is actually no container running in case anyone had doubts. Um, so that's collectively deployed on four different nodes. Um, I'm going to check that it's running. Okay, so next up, we have to um, set up storage using InfluxDB, and also we want to set up Grafana so that we can see the metrics that are actually produced in a nice visual dashboard. I'm having trouble reading this from here, so the back of the room, don't worry. Um, so we're using Docker Compose to set up those two containers, Influx and Grafana. And not only does it actually deploy Grafana, but it also sets up a load of pre-configured dashboards so you don't have to spend hours going through the metrics that are available and picking what to put on your graphs. Just want to add that this hasn't been sped up and we're about two and a half minutes in. So as you can see, there's a, a lot of metrics coming in and we can see what's going on on various different um, nodes. What we're seeing is just a compute usage per node. Um, you can get a cumulative um, aggregated version, or you can see per CPU metrics as well. Yep, so, um, in order to show you that there's actually something happening, we're just going to stress the CPUs so you can see how the metrics do change and how quickly they're collected and updated. So we can see that activity that we just kicked off. So that was a four-minute demo on how to set up Barometer. Um, I think that's the first time we've actually shown Barometer being deployed, although it's not the first time that we've actually shown Barometer in action. Um, whether you knew it or not, the, and all these demos that have been showcased, the OpenStack and OPNFE summits, um, anything to do with metrics collection, um, with Doctor, with Vitrage, with OpenStack Watcher, what they were doing underneath was collecting metrics using those Barometer um, features. Um, so if you can look at those later, I think the slides will be put up soon. So after that, uh, where does Barometer go from here during our next release? Um, more plugins, obviously more plugins. Um, I'm not going to go through them here. There's a list on the OPNFE wiki, the Barometer wiki, um, on what's actually planned. Um, However, if you have any plugins that you want to see enabled or that you're enabling any plugins, Barometer team is usually happy to help with um, reviewing pull requests on um, Collecti. I'm um, going to do some work on Collecti Cloudification. Um, this is to address some issues that um, or some gaps we saw at the start with actually the configurability of Collecti and actually deploying it over um, multiple nodes. Uh, namely, that currently if you want to reconfigure Collecti, you have to restart the service. And as, you're, as you might be collecting metrics at a very high frequency over a lot of nodes, this could obviously take a lot of time, but also cause a discontinuity in the 
the metrics so you have gaps in your history, which is not ideal. So what we plan to implement is a bit of an abstraction, an API on top of it so that you can configure it on the fly, which is handy in situations where, for example, um, at um, peak times you may want to collect metrics with much, much higher frequency or if you migrate your workloads and consolidate them into a smaller number of hosts, for example, to, um, to conserve power, you may want to um, increase the interval so you're not collecting metrics as often, or you may want to um, enable for certain workloads and certain compute hosts, you may want to um, change over time the metrics that are actually available. Um, so it's part of the uh, motivation to make it more configurable and more dynamically configurable. Um, of course, we're always open to collaborations and would like to see more people consuming barometer and barometer features. Um, basically, the goal in the next release is to enable more services to consume data and telemetry for all kinds of use cases, including orchestration, management, governance, and audit and analytics and so on. So. Does anybody have any questions? One over here. Um, what are you using as your uh, time series database for Collect D? Um, question was what are we using as our time series database for Collect D? Um, Collect D supports multiple time series databases. Um, you could use Gnocchi and or you could use InfluxDB or um, any other um, database that it actually supports. You don't you're not limited to the features that I've outlined here. Okay, how many data points are collected per host per second? Um, that depends on a lot of things. Um, Collecti has over 100 plugins available at the moment. Um, you're only going to want to uh, enable a subset of these plugins. And each plugin would have many different metrics available. And it would also monitor or collect metrics on many different resources at the same time. So for example, CPU, you choose uh, utilization, free, um, interrupts, uh, a bunch of other things. And that would be per CPU core, per host. And that's just one plugin. Um, so the frequency of which you collect them really depends on your use case as well. But I think we've tested down to sub milliseconds. How much overhead does that collection impose? Um, I don't have the answer for that right now. Um, but uh, if you follow up, I might be able to find out or provide you some tools to find out. Any more questions? Did I speak too fast? Okay, um, if I want to run Barometer, can I run it on hosts and containers and VMs and so on? Um, yes, you can, as long as there's network connectivity between them. You can relay the metrics um, from any host that's running Collect-D to a, a designated Collect-D server via its network plugin. So if there are no, no more questions, I will turn on the light again so that we can see everybody. Um, uh, thank you very much, Emma. If there are more questions, you might find the answers on the wiki, or you can contact the mailing list as well. So if there are more questions, wiki, mailing list for the recording. Thank you very much.